so hey guys i am back with another video today's video i will be going ahead and cash envelope stuffing my paycheck so if you're interested in that keep on watching so hey guys my name is sherelle i am on a budget i am on a budget <laughs> i am on a journey to have a better relationship with money and if you are interested in watching cash envelope stuff is budget with me's weekly and monthly then go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as make sure you turn on your post notifications so you do not miss a upload and let's get into the video so i'm excited because i have the correct amount of money this week to stuff and that is the gold um, as long as we hold ourselves like accountable, it should be fine. I'm going to go ahead, start stuffing my Moterm wallet. And hopefully this is like the last week that I'm in this actual wallet because I have a new one. I just haven't made, um, I just haven't made my envelopes yet. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to stay with like these zipper ones or do like a certain, um style that i want to do in here um i did start it like last week because i wanted to unbox and set everything up with you guys but i'll probably just end up doing like a separate video in that separate from here so we're going to start with my eating out envelope which is going to get 25 dollars and i have a little cash breakdown sheet over here that i did not forget this time so i can see my um denominations which honestly when it comes to in here, I pretty much know them by heart. I really don't need the need the sheet. But it's, sometimes it's good there for a reference in case I pick up the wrong thing or change how something is getting. Travel is going to get $12. And that's a 10 and two ones. So, it's, yeah. I've just had a lot of stuff going on. Um, personally, for... The whole month of April, it has not finished. I feel like it's just getting um, started. So, mm, mm, mm. at this point, I just feel like get somebody else to do it. Household is going to get $25. And that's going in here. Allowance is also getting 12 um, if you guys would like to see like my monthly breakdown of what I plan on or I budget myself to spend in these categories, then you could go ahead and check out the main monthly setup video. Beauty is also getting $12. I have unstuffed this wallet already. Um, I did not film that just because the way that my weeks run is according to my paycheck. Um, so for me, I still had a paycheck at the end of April that basically accounted for um, my first week expenses in May. I mean, yeah. So I didn't really want to have to. Um, by this time, we're late into the uh, we're, we're late into we're well at the end of the first week um, for me to start my weekly stuffing for me. So I just needed to get this money out because. It was some things that I needed to do um, to buy and set up. And I just didn't want to wait because I wanted to get this done. Oh, that wasn't open all the way. What in the same hell is going on here? Metro card doesn't get nothing. I get stuff um, at the beginning of the month. Laundry still has some money in here. I did go ahead and roll over some of this money. Um, just because I was like, it's absolutely too much in here. Even though I condensed it, what is going on? Oh, there we go. Um, I feel like this is still a lot of money, um, left. So we're going to add $12 to here. And now in laundry, there's no way they gave me this ripped up ass 10. The bank. So 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So now we have $60 in here that is really doable. 
um, to get laundry done because I have like a gazillion um, thing. And since it's such a nice day today, I might just end up doing some laundry today. I just don't like being in a laundromat with people. It's just really annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and get my bills binder out. I do stuff my bills. Um, the cash, I am one month ahead. So it allows me to stuff them weekly for the following month. Um, so yeah, so for rent, it's getting 206. And we are empty because we just put all of our stuff in for May. So we are basically stuffing for June. My cell phone is going to get 17, which is a 10, a 5, and two ones. So much shit passing by my face. That's ridiculous. This is car payment, but it's actually for the car tolls. And this is going to get 50, 70, 5, and 6. So now in here, we already have money in here. We have 100, 200, 350, 60, 70, 80, 90. <clears throat> 110, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So it's 424 in here. And subscriptions. Oh, it's getting 21. I was about to say, I did not. <laughs> I thought I didn't um budget anything for this. Which was weird. I didn't see the subscriptions written out. And then PS E and G, which is my gas and electric, is going to get $38. And that is 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. I think I should have all of these open. I'm trying to have my videos go fast because I I can be a chatty patty. And it won't have nothing to do with the video. So I'll be trying to cut out a lot of my little crap. So MetroCard is going to get 66, which is a 50, a 10, a 5, and a 1. So we are stuffed for the week. Um, and this just gives me a peace of mind when it comes to... Um, my life because girl I can't be struggling at the week at every week trying to figure out what bill I'm gonna pay and what bill I'm not gonna pay um so let's get into my sinking fund so I do split this up bi-weekly of what cash I'm uh what the envelopes I'm gonna stuff are so today I will only be stuffing um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll only be stuffing nine. And it's going to be a total of $200 I'm going to be stuffing in here. So first things first is going to be big purchases, which is going to get $20. And I already have like some money in my little um, account. Because I don't like to keep a lot in here. And obviously, I'm going to have to do this a lot more often because, yeah. So, I have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 65. So, we have 265 in here. Birthdays. It's also, all of my envelopes are like ripped. I have some new ones, so I'm just going to go ahead and change them. But birthdays is also going to get 20. So now in birthdays, we have 100, 250, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 1, 2. So we have $302 in birthdays. And this is just for like little gifts to save up for that. 
Christmas is going to get 25 and honestly, I don't be too concerned about this envelope because next month we're going to do a saving challenge to go ahead and bulk this up for where we want to be by December. So in Christmas, I now have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 115, 120. So we have 120 in Christmas. And I'm getting better with the 50s because I hate counting 50s. Like I hate it. In clothing, we only had 15, and we're going to be adding 25 because the summer is coming and we need some new clothes. So right now I have 20, 30, 35, 40 dollars in here. And I think last month or the month, yeah, March is when we like drained this envelope. Um, so we're starting over there. And an emergency fund. I'm going to be adding $40, which is two twenties. I don't know if that's correct. Why oh, is all these hundreds in here? I'm weak. Because now I'm confused. I, I don't know why it, it was taking me so long to turn it over. So now I have um 1300 already put away in my high yield savings account. So now what we have in emergency fund is 1100 200 300 20 40 60 50 55 So we have 1365 I think. <laughs> um, once I go ahead and do my little deductions I mean add my little stuff I'll be fine and then in events which is this is something that was like I just started stuffing as well we're going to add 20 and now I have 50 60, 70 5 76, 77 so we have $77 in here and then all the other not important holidays we're going to be adding $20 in here. And now we have 60. So 20, 40, 60 in holidays. And this is just like um, anything else. Like Mother Day is coming up. It's not a holiday. But I actually don't didn't put any money towards that. So I might be taking it out of there. My medical envelope is also getting $20. So now I have 20, 40. I hate when all the money is facing the wrong way. Anybody else, when they're counting money, they like it to all be facing the same way in the same direction. So in, in the correct denomination. <sighs> Extra. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 101. So now in medical, I have $101. And this is just to save up um, for co-pays and stuff because I do have to pay for that. And then a new car, she's supposed to, I believe she's budgeted to get $20, but I'm adding 10 to uh, equal out the 200 that I have allocated towards for this, um, this week. So the next time I stuff this, I will go ahead and add the other 20, I mean the other 10 to make this the full 20 that I stuffed in here. So right now a new car, I have 100. 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. So I have $128 in here. And that is everything that we are stuffing inside of my sink and funds binder. I'm thinking about just making everything match for me in terms of the season. Because I don't know if I told you to this guy before, but I like everything to match like my mood, my season. So it makes my experience with budgeting fun um i'm a capricorn is in the genes to want to save money it just is what it is um so now we're moving on to my savings challenges binder and my just save binder is going to get 40 dollars. so now i have i have 100 220 and 40 and my goal here is 600 dollars um to save that 
and we are working on the last row. I typically like to start highest to lowest. Um, so this is $40 and we'll be done with that roll. My next um, savings challenge is my clothes fund, which that will be getting $20. And now we have in clothes, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80. So we have $180 in here. The goal here is to get 420. In my month ahead, because I am saving up now basically to um, get have like a backup, like emergency um, bills, the dollars to here, which we now have a hundred. And the gold here is uh, for $22,400. So, yeah. And my other mini savings challenge is going to be family fun. And this is just like if we decide to take like the kids out, me and my sister. And that is going to be getting $15. I think this should be the last 15 But we'll see. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? All right, so now in Family Fund, we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 200. So now we have $200 in here, and the gold in here is $350. And then in my 40 Savings Challenge, which this is a part of my $10,000 challenge for the whole year, I already have $500 put away in the bank. And we will be adding, um, I believe it's $180. So that's what should be here. $150, 60 70 80 Yes, so $180. So now in here. Lord. Dear God, it's me, the dumb one. Help me figure out how to count this. <laughs> All right, so we already have 500. That's in my How Yield Savings account. So now I have 500, 600, 700, 750, 800, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47. So 847 dollars is currently in here. And this is just by me just saving as many $40 as I could in the week. The goal here is to get to $2,000, which will add on already to the $1,500 that I already have saved uh, for the other challenge. And then this is my monthly challenge, which is the May challenge. And that is going to be getting $23. So $120, $1, 2 and 3 and we're just going to stuff that in here. So we just save it all around. My goal this year was to really put as much as I could put um, into savings because I never want to be broke and be a young girl. You know, never broke again, ho. Okay, so that is going to be the end of today's cash stuffing. If you like these type of videos, go ahead and give this video a like. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as turn on your post notifications so you do not miss a video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.